All free-to-air broadcasting television stations are required to produce relevant content to the local audiences and should be within Uganda's creative control. The quotas are made to promote national culture, pluralism and diversity as well as enhancing employment capacity. A television station will therefore be required to ensure that an average of 70% of its programming during prime time between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. is Ugandan content. You should carry 70% of the local content, meaning local arts, local movies, local drama, local music, so on and so forth. The 30% can come from anywhere you want. The reason I'm doing this is to encourage or stimulate our film industry. The quarters put it that for any free-to-air broadcasting television to acquire a license renewal, the 70% local content production requirement must be complied with. The pay television subscription broadcasting licensee must also ensure that a minimum average of 20% of Uganda content is aired during Uganda performance is complied with. But the broadcasters say the 70% local content during prime time is too much given the cost involved in producing a single local production. The broadcasters are optimistic that with continuous engagement with regulator, the percentage of local content required will be adjustable to workable levels. This local content is very expensive. Very expensive uh, in a way that you need to deal with production houses. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they need to engage local people, they need to buy equipment, so it costs money, but it's going to create jobs. It's the quarters are set after benchmarking with other countries such as South Africa, Tanzania and consultations with independent broadcasters, producers and other stakeholders. According to the regulator, effective 1st January next year, diligent monitoring will begin and will be quarterly to ensure compliance. Otherwise, penalties to be involved for non-compliance are yet to be established. Meanwhile, the regulator is progressively working on digital migration to ensure the June 2015 deadline is viable. The Uganda Communications Commission is also working on revisions into the consumer awareness campaign to fully integrate the public into the transition. A United States company is contracted to supply, deliver and install digital transmission equipment at Kololo for the Kampala digital switch on. Nabakozalidia, NBS Television, Business.